Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at precipitation or double decomposition. These are the two same reactions. Now before I get right into the video, if you enjoy videos like this, if you like educational content, please hit that subscribe button because I'll be producing at least one video a week. And if you're learning something from this, please support me by hitting that like button. It really does help. Now, let's get into the lesson. Let's say we had a beaker that was filled with sodium chloride solution so this one has sodium chloride solution in it now before we go on any further we need to think about what sodium chloride solution actually is sodium chloride is of course a salt and we have to remember that salts are ionic compounds now when we have a solution an aqueous solution an aqueous solution means it is dissolved in water. When we have a solution, automatically we have to remember that this sodium chloride, this salt is a soluble salt because it has formed a solution. So essentially what we have here is sodium chloride dissolved in water. Now what's the chemical formula for this sodium chloride? It is NaCl. NaCl. So being an ionic compound, Sodium chloride is actually made from sodium ions, Na+, sodium is a cation here, and we have Cl-, Cl-, the chloride ions are the N ions here, the negative ions here. Now when they are dissolved in water, what happens is the salt will dissociate, it will dissociate in water to form Na+, ions that are free to move about, we have to remember kinetic theory here and then we have chloride ions that are also free to move about in this solution so this is what we have when we have sodium chloride solution so let's say we have another beaker same thing this time we have silver nitrate okay so we have silver nitrate solution so once again, it's the same thing. As long as it forms a solution, it means that this salt has dissolved in water, aqueous solution. And therefore, this is a soluble salt. Silver nitrate is a soluble salt. Silver nitrate is Ag and O3. This is the chemical formula for silver nitrate. Again, it's an ionic compound and it's made up from Ag plus silver 1 ion as the cat ion as well as the nitrate ion as the N ion. So once again, when they dissolve in solution, they will be dissociated and so they will exist as Ag plus ions, Ag plus, Ag plus, Ag plus, as well as nitrate ions, NO3 minus, NO3 minus, NO3 minus. So these are what salt solutions are. They're essentially a solution containing ions that are dissociated. So we have all these ions together. Now, what happens when we mix these two salt solutions together? What happens when we put sodium chloride solution into silver nitrate solution? So let's draw one big beaker here. Now, this time we have mixed both solutions. So we have to remember from the sodium chloride solution, we have our sodium ions, Na plus, Na plus, Na plus, Na plus, and then we have the chloride ions. Let me just use a different color. Chloride ions, chloride ions, chloride ions, chloride ions. Okay. So when again we have to remember that they are in constant motion in the solution they're not just going to be stagnant there they're not going to be staying in one position according to kinetic theory of matter they will be moving randomly in the solution so as they are moving randomly and when they come together when they collide nothing is going to happen because this is soluble salt sodium chloride is soluble and therefore it will just dissociate again it will just remain as the cation and the anion sodium ion and the chloride ion nothing will happen so what happens when we add silver nitrate 
have silver now. Silver AG plus AG plus AG plus AG plus. And we also have our nitrate ions. Let me just use white for that. NO3 minus NO3 minus NO3 minus. So we have all four ions in solution now. We are ignoring the slight dissociation of water here. We are just going to focus on these four ions. Now what happens is, when silver comes into contact with chloride, again, you have to remember that they are in constant motion. So when silver collides with chloride, then what will happen is, silver and chloride will form a solid. They will no longer be in the ionic state. So this is what will happen. Let me show you the ionic equation. Ag plus will react with the chloride ion to form AgCl. Now let me just include the states here so that it's clearer. This silver ion is in aqueous state. Chloride ion is also in aqueous state. However, this silver chloride is in solid state. So it has come out of the solution as a solid. And this is why it is called precipitation. A precipitate is formed. So why is it called double decomposition? Now let's just look at the overall reaction. Let's write the overall chemical equation here. So first we started with sodium chloride and ACL in the aqueous state. And then we added silver nitrate. So we have Ag and O3, silver 1 nitrate in the aqueous state as well. And what happened is silver chloride was precipitated. And don't forget, all the silver chloride is going to precipitate. However, okay, so we still have sodium and nitrate ions. Now, we also know that sodium nitrate is a soluble salt. So it's not going to form a precipitate. Even though they come together, it will not form a precipitate. If you want to know more about soluble and insoluble salts, I have a video on that for you to easily remember. I'll leave that in the description below. So moving on, we also have the soluble salt that is left. And that is sodium nitrate. This is in the aqueous form because it's a soluble salt. So this here is the precipitate. So what has happened here, why this is called double decomposition is, we have started with two compounds. We have started with sodium chloride and we have started with silver nitrate. What happened is, both compounds were broken down to form new compounds. So when it is broken down, this is where the decomposition part comes. Sodium chloride and silver nitrate have been broken down and so it is a double decomposition. Now, how to easily remember this, how to work out this equation easily, I have a trick here. All you have to do in precipitation reactions is, you take the cations and you swap places. So silver will go to chloride and sodium will come to nitrate. And these are the two products from precipitation or double decomposition. So for this reaction to take place, we have to be aware of the possible products that are being formed. If both salts are soluble, then nothing is going to happen. For example, let's say if we reacted sodium chloride, NaCl, this will be in the aqueous state because it's a soluble salt, plus potassium nitrate, KNO3. Now, in this case, we have sodium ion, chloride ion, so let's just mark that down. We have Na plus and Cl minus chloride ion, and then we have K plus and we have the nitrate ion. Now, in this case, let's see what happens when we swap the cations. So, let's just swap them around. So, let's just change place between sodium and potassium. What will potentially form is potassium chloride and sodium nitrate. However, both of these salts are soluble salts. Both are soluble. There is no precipitate form. Nothing will come out as a solid. And therefore, when you mix sodium chloride solution and potassium nitrate solution, nothing will happen. The two salt solutions will just mix and remain in solution. 
Remember guys, if you've learned something from this, please help me by hitting that like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I hope to see you in the next video.